Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use date and time using Swift with Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This will be a single view application. Click next in our product name. I am just going to call mine time. Click next and create. And now let's make this a bit bigger. Let's head over to our main.storyboard. And inside of our main.storyboard, we need to head over to the label. And we're just going to click and drag that label onto our scene. Now we're going to stretch this label out so it fits all the sides, like so. And then make it a bit bigger as well, thicker, so we can make the text itself a bit bigger. Then we take this label, we go right down here, and we're going to add some constraints real quick. And so say, add missing constraints. Now down, now up here in your attributes inspector, we need to go over to the alignment, click alignment. We're going to center the alignment. I'm just going to change the text. You don't need to do this. This can be whatever text you want. I'm going to have Helvetica New A, and this is going to be a thin and I don't want it to be thin italic, I want it to be thin. And now let's make this a bit bigger, just go to size 30-ish and click done. Now let's head right up here to the top right hand corner and you see these two little circles and this is our assistant editor. And now we need to right click and drag from this label over to our viewcontroller.swift file. And inside of here we need to go connection, outlet, and this will just be, we're just gonna name our label pretty much. So we're gonna call this label, label. And then we also need to set the text for this. So we need to say label.text will be equal to, and this will actually be equal to our ns date formatter dot localize string from date. So it's going to grab a string from your date that's on your phone already. So we have the date, and I just want to type in ns date open parentheses, close parentheses, and this is grabbing the date from your specific time zone. And then now we have our NS date formatter style. So if we type this in real quick, we can say NS date formatter, formatter style, and click the period right after the NS date formatter style, and you get a bunch of formats. So along with these formats, you have the full style, and it actually gives you what it's going to look like down here. So this is going to display your date that is in your time zone. So we can have the full style, which gives you this big long line. I'm just gonna go with the medium style right now. Click enter, and then we can go down here to our time style, and we'll also need to type in NS date formatter style dot and this will be our medium style, our long style, or just our short style. I think I'm gonna go with the short style on this one. And as you can see, it's just saying 3.30 p.m. Click OK, and let's build and run. And now that that's build and run, you can see June 15th, 2015, 8.45 a.m. Now let's just say you want the time just to show. So let's go back to our viewcontroller.swift, and inside of here you can see our date style, and we want to just go up here to our NS date formatter style dot medium style, and erase the medium style, and we're gonna type in no style. And now if we were to build and run this, we will just have our time showing. And there you have it, we have 8.46 p.m. Now you can also do this with just the date, so you need to go up here to your NS date formatter style, we're gonna type in no style, and let's say we want this one to be a full style. So let's build and run this. And there you have it, Monday, June 15, 2015. And now let's head back over to our code where we have the NS date formatter style and we'll actually just change this back to no style again. And then and now we need to head back over to our time style and we're going to change our time style to full style. And this will allow us to actually see the seconds. So if we were to build and run this right now, you will see that the seconds actually do not grow. You will see that it's just standing still because this is only being called when the view loads. So this is the time at which the view loads. So if you want to see an accurate time, let's head back over to our viewcontroller.swift. And in here, we're going to add an nstimer.scheduledTimer with time interval. And be sure you're selecting with the second one that has the target and the selector. Tap that all in. Our timer will be calling a certain function at po every 0.1 seconds. Our target, our target will be the self, meaning that it's going to affect our view controller itself. Our selector will be just capital S E L C T O R, open parentheses, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, close parentheses. Our user info, we do not require any user info. And our repeats, we're going to set this evil cool to true. Now let's go down here and we're going to create a function. And this will be our update time function. So update time, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And inside of this, we just need to click and drag this label.text function into here. 
our label.txt statement into our update time. And now any time this is called, we are going to call this update time. But first, actually, we need to head back over to our selector here. And we just want to put in this part right here that says update time without the parentheses. So now it's going to call this specific function every 0.1 seconds. So now let's build and run this. And as you can see, it is keeping the time perfectly and you will always be accurate. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. That's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Let's go ahead and get started.